Welcome Builders, and it is Jody here, and welcome to my biggest, most ambitious tutorial ever, a Medieval 4. It's really quite complicated, and it's a big long tutorial, but, you know, it's doable. It is doable. It's about 90% of this will be block for block. 10%, you may need a little bit of uh, ad-lib, a bit of imagination required. If you like this kind of video, if you want to support my channel, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to tap the notifications bell. Hey, this is a big medieval fort. It's complicated. It's, it's definitely, definitely, like I say, doable. Gonna split it up into chunks. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so you either count up eight, eight blocks here, eight blocks counting up. Either start it here with this block of andesite on a hill you've already got. You may have a hill, you may have something there already but I'm starting on flat ground so I'm going to count up eight blocks and then I'm going to add on six blocks of andesite high and make this little five by five andesite polished andesite platform you can see it's six high and it's five wide Yeah, you may start, as I say, the pumpkins are just marking out where I'm going to put an artificial kind of cliff, an artificial hill. But you could start your fort on top of that cliff. Hopefully that is kind of clear. Add in a couple of upside down stairs. And that is the kind of the basic shape of this castle construction. One of these little five by five in terms of the area. Six tall andesite uh, objects. And I've put some spruce flooring upper slabs at the top. Now we're going to need um, a few of these. I think it's six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row like that. Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's eight. <laughs> Definitely eight. We need another eight. If you're doing this by hand, well, you're doing it by hand. This is going to be taking days, maybe even weeks to make this fort. Um, so that's a little bit speeded up for the video not too many of these bits for the video just a little f a, a few uh bits of magic voxel sniper stencils for me just to speed up the construction the basic layout and uh design of this add on a couple more of these at the far end and then we're going to come down by one more and come out four in total Then we're going to have a little look underneath and you've got to have to have a look and see exactly which one I'm aiming for. Hopefully you can see I'm right in the corner just here and I'm going to add on another one of these objects. I'm calling them objects. Andesite stands. What would you call it? Construction <laughs> cuboids? I don't know. Anyway, very simply add on a little <clears throat> square of polished andesite, some more of these spruce upper slabs and then again we're going to count down another six blocks on the legs i think it's six well that was too, too close to the camera to see so let's just make sure that is definitely another six added on so one no it's five one two three four five yeah five added so yeah six high in total that does make sense five on the legs plus one for the extra base i put on and there we go. So we're going to need um, to add in the upside down stairs. This is the uh, the, the front entrance kind of area I'm building just now. And we're going to need another couple of them. Hopefully that's pretty clear. You're going to need to pause the video again and again and again. Guys, please follow me on... Instagram. I'm going to be going to Los Angeles next week. Follow me on Instagram. There's going to be some great pictures. And also, I'm going to be making some little YouTube video vlogs as well of the trip to VidCon, the video conference. Hopefully, you can see where we're putting on some more of these little shapes. There's a little 4x3 grid. I'm going to need to add in some floor, the main floor to the castle. I'm just using some stone. So, I'm going from that top pumpkin block all the way over and we're going to spin the camera around here. If you're going to be at VidCon, let me know guys. Los Angeles, Anaheim, 
19th to 24th of June 2018. I'm going to be there. So there won't be any Minecraft videos next week, but there will be some vlogs from Los Angeles. So do look out for that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram because um, I'm going to be posting as much as I can from my trip onto Instagram, especially. July, um, I want to be doing some Twitch live streams. So follow me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy Azura. Okay, enough of this talking, Andy. Get on with the build. Hopefully you can just see where I'm placing some of these structures. I don't think I need to count the squares or anything. Right, we want to definitely add on a few more of these cuboids at the back. I think we're going to go for one, two, three, four, five, and one more six like that. If you just line things up, hopefully you can see exactly where that should be. We're going to add on another couple at the end. And we'll just swing the camera around to give you a nice clear view. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear from there, to be honest. Okay, um, now this is the cliffy bit at the bottom. Again, this might be already done for you. It may be you're building and starting it with the cuboids on a cliff or a hill, but I just, I'm doing it on flat. So I got some friends to help me. Thank you very much to everyone on the server for helping me. We're putting in bushes, we're putting in sort of extra bits to the cliff, we're putting in kind of a river or a moat running around the entire build. And this was, a, this was a fun stage, just getting your mates to help you out. Bushies, diorite, andesite, gravel, sugar cane, water, sand. Missed out that entire corner there because we're gonna go back and put a giant tower there a little bit later on. We've got lots of ferns, grass, bushies, flowers, sand, water, cliffs, vines, Leaves. <laughs> it was fun, I tell you. Leave the archways kind of intact. You see there's a lower bit of the castle around this corner. We're just kind of not going up any further than those kind of arches there. And since the water goes all the way around, one of the last things we're going to have to do is build our bridge. Thanks to all the helpers. Let's catch their names here. MG3, Hotbacks, Crab Cakes, Flexi, Gerard, Fat Socks, and Electric. With two C's, 12. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. He does have two C's, I see. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks starting right there, and then 15 in total. So this is nine by 15. Take care of where the starting point is. It's not right on the edge. 9 by 15 and another 9 in total there. This is starting the big major tower in the back left-hand corner. Add on 2 there. I'm marking it out in wool, by the way. Just building it in wool to start with. A couple of diagonals, but if you want to know what blocks to build it with, build it with stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, mossy stone bricks. So we've got a two, one, two, and then a five to finish off right in the middle. There we go. So this shape needs to be brought up. I think it's up another 14 blocks. It doesn't matter too much how high you make it. It's kind of your own aesthetic um, appreciation. I think 14 blocks high, and I have used a bit of world edit here just to speed things up in the video. Uh, but stack it down, stack it up, 14 up, and then all the way down to the ground, and make it out of whatever blocks you want. I think stone bricks are good, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, you could put anything in. And then <clears throat> what looks very good with that combination of bricks, I think, is if you mix in some polished andesite, some big chunks of polished andesite, as if they were individual stones. A nice random random selection here. So here's the andesite going in. You see when you just slap in some polished andesite, it looks like you know the builders were building and they couldn't find the right sort of stones. So they've, they've chucked in some quite big, fat, smooth stones. Okay, um, so over here we're going to grab some ingredients. We've got Trapidorus Maximus, we've got some red stuff, whatever that is. <laughs> I've forgotten what the red is. We've got a chisel block, we've got some um, cobblestone blocks, um, Stone brick stairs and polished and a site. Okay, so I'm going to switch into first person view here. So all you need to do is copy what I'm doing. A couple of upside down cobblestone stairs. 
one, two, three blocks, four blocks of cobblestone. going to grab I'm going to do the same again over here so I'm going to do a couple of these sections just so you can see two two of these sections being built all together turns out I'm going to move those down by one so we want five blocks in total yeah this looks a bit better so I was just actually deciding and making this up normally most of when I build is already pre-decided, but I was kind of just changing things around very, very slightly here. So we're going to go for correct the way up stairs and then upside down stairs underneath all cobblestones like that. Oh, a little mistake on the right there, I just noticed. A little mistake. Am I going to fix that? <laughs> yes, I'm going to fix it. I am going to fix it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, my word. Uh, upper, sorry, lower slabs. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, cobblestone slabs. So that's looking mighty fine. Um, I'm going to grab upside down stairs at the top of the cobblestone. And then working on the inside here, going to grab two blocks of polished andesite. So you get a double chance of seeing this on both of these little sections. And then I think it uh, should be stairs next. should be... Um, Stone brick stairs, just making sure I've got that in my hand. There we go. Oh, it's just, it's just stone bricks, full blocks of stone brick right there. It's actually stone brick stairs which go right on top in this kind of triple formation. Looks like a couch. The outer two facing in the way. Andesite, 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 the polished variety. Upside down stair in between. And another andesite, andesite. The red block, what is it? I forgot what it is, nether wart or something, nether wart. I can't remember, nice bright block anyway, just whatever you choose. Trapidorus maximus, so you just see it peeking through the red. Is it a big red magma block or something? Oh, I can't remember, anyway. Uh, chiseled stone brick. You know when your mind just goes blank and you've been you've been saying the name of the block all day and then it's just gone from your head and there's nothing you can do. There's nothing that my brain can do. Anyway, that is the little detail. I love this little detail on the side of the castle. Of course, you need to do it multiple times. <laughs> uh, oh my word! All the way around to there, and then you've got four or three and a half to do on this side. One I'm just going to build by hand, I think. So just repeating exactly what I've just been doing. Spam that along, and we want to make a half. Exact same on the back side here. I'm going to build one by hand. And then we can just expand this along as well. A lot of you won't be building this and just enjoying watching me build, and that's fine as well. I'm going to seal that in with some more sort of cliffs here. But down here, on this base here, if you're, if you're following along, you're going to just fill in the exact same design down there. That's what I like about this, this castle or fort. It has a lot of repeated designs. Tried to be clever and do that with World Edit, but ended up kind of making a bit of a fail. So I just did it by hand again. You don't have so much detail down below on this one, but that just gets stacked along. Okay. On to the front of the build, we're going to uh, come up five blocks of chiseled sandstone and then make that into a little three by three tower. So it's five up. The key was the first block of sandstone. So if you missed that, go back and have a look. Add on some little crenellations on the top and we're making a little sandstone tower for the corner. And I like this little tower. There we are. Now you can poke in some little holes here and there with some bars to make some windows. And we're going to add on another three of these towers. So it's five high. Hopefully you can see exactly where that is and stack that down. So again, some of these bits of the video go very, very fast, but it's just repeated, repeated elements. You just got to notice exactly where the first block glow goes, not glows. <laughs> 
and you should be able to see exactly what to do. Okay, gonna add some crenellations on the front using a mixture of stone bricks and cracked stone bricks. Very easy, one row complete, one row alternate. Same over here. Then on the inside, a complete row of stone bricks, pretty much all the way around, leaving a gap here and there for some future buildings with some nice stone slabs on top. Make some inner crenellations for this beautiful courtyard. I love the courtyard. Imagine filling that with as much detail, castle life, fort life as you want. Right, moving on, a few ingredients, fence posts, stone bricks, cobblestone, uh, iron bars, post andesite, spruce. <laughs> I can't keep up, this is too fast. Uh, just pause the video, guys, and grab those ingredients. <laughs> ah, yeah, uh, we'll go over them as we... As we so we're, we're working on this kind of back section here. We're going to go upside down stone brick stairs. And then we're going to go for one, two, three, four blocks of andesite coming up to mark out these sections. Come across with andesite as well. And then come up another four blocks and fill it in exactly the same way. So this back section here could be rooms, could be corridors. The imagination is yours. Obviously not going to be furnishing this cat, this fort. I keep calling it a castle. It could be a castle. I'm just going to call it a giant medieval fort as much as I can. Um, but this, yeah, rooms, corridors. Honestly, playing in this when, it, when it's done, furnishing it. Kind of jealous of you guys getting to do that. Um, on the inside of all these sections, we're going to go upside down um, stairs. I may furnish it on live streams. And as I say, come July, I want to be doing a lot more live streams on twitch.tv forward slash Andy is Yoda. So go ahead and get yourself Twitch. Register on Twitch, twitch.tv, and then follow me. And I'll be broadcasting as much as I can. I might be doing the odd uh, YouTube gaming stream, but I think really Twitch is where it is. And I want to do a lot of more live stream building. I think that's the future for building in Minecraft. Anyway, we've got three blocks of wall, upside down stairs on top of the, the wall. Then I'm going to grab some chiseled stone bricks and they're going to sit right there, looking mighty fine. Three more blocks of wall on top. And then we're going to finish off the top there with just a, a run of correct, upright stone brick stairs. A few railings right there. And we can move on. Move on. I grabbed some stairs, oak stairs. And what I want to do is put some temporary blocks in front of them and just put my Trapidorus Maximus right there. And right there, so it forms these kind of wooden shutters. Get rid of the temporary blocks. And I kind of like the way that looks, to be honest. Okay, so what's next? Well, up here, we're going to go for a full block, full block on top of the stairs right there. In between, we're going to go for upside down oak wood stairs. And then on top of them... Full block at the end, middle and end. And in between, I think, some fences. And then grab your Trapidorus Maximus again. And they just sit on the front. By the way, this is that one detail, those trapdoors. I have to confess, I miss them out. <laughs> For the rest of the video, they won't be existing left or right. They're the only two you'll see. I'm sorry, I just completely forgot about them. But anyway, what we have at the front needs to be duplicated at the back you also need to remember your flooring as well so these are just some spruce upper slabs to do the floors so i'm just going to use a little bit of world edit just to copy and paste front to back i think that ends up being okay just tidy up the back here and i'm going to put bars all the way up at the back, just for a bit more defense at the back of the castle. And then just keep on repeating that all the way along this whole back section. You can see I've missed out kind of one line 
at the very end where we're gonna add on kind of a red building. So there we go, that was that section done. If you get one section done, you can just repeat. Might take you quite a while, that section. Anyway, moving on, need some cobblestone, some iron bars, uh, nether brick, slabs, fence posts, stairs, need some red clay as well, or red terracotta, something red. We're just making a nice little section back here. First of all, we're gonna start with the stone here. And this wraps around to exactly there. In fact, we take off that one. Yeah, I was just thinking, as I watched this back and put a voiceover, I was thinking, mm, that's too far. <laughs> it's funny how you get to know about a build, block by block. So I'm just gonna put this as stone, kind of a continuation of the cliff. It looks like the continuation of the cliff, which is quite clever, but it's not all gonna be stone. And certainly you could make these walls quite thick on the inside. When you come to do the inside of the castle, which is, I keep calling it castle. It's sort of a castle, isn't it? When you come to do the inside, you can make these walls thick and add some details if the cliff was, you know, part of the whole build. So, plain stone, but then I'm gonna add some little details here and there. Just add in posh andesite, something like this, as if it's been put together. I love the higgledy-piggledy, willy-nilly, kind of just mess of a castle or fort that this is. Um, it looks like it's been improved, renovated, changed, added to over the years, and it gives it kind of a natural feel. So that's what I that's what I like about this build. Right, uh, I'm gonna carve some windows in here. They're one block above the floor level. A um, little bit of detail. First of all, I went with glass, and I thought, no, this is a little bit low. <laughs> People could break in uh, and climb up. So we're gonna put iron bars uh, down below, make it more difficult to get in. Same around the corner here, right above these little sections here. You can see that's where we're gonna put in our two high windows. They just line up with these bits down below. Uh, what am I trying to grab here? I'm trying to grab, oh yeah, some random blocks, just some stone brick. Stone brick looks really good when it interacts and sits beside just normal stone in Minecraft in default. I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack. If you're interested, if you search for Faithful Texture Pack, sometimes I have a link to it down below, um, but it just makes everything look a little bit sharper and clearer. And I'm using Chocopic version seven shaders, if you're interested. Anyway, there is our wall, nice and random. Love it. So next we're gonna go for, I think nine blocks. Yeah, nine blocks. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10? Yeah, I've put 10 there, but I'm going to reduce it to nine later on. And this is the red stained clay or red terracotta, whichever works for you. Let's have a little Yoda build it nice and fast. So I'm going up 10 layers. As I say, I'm gonna take that 10th layer off at the end. 10 was too much, but that was a good guess to start with. Zippity zip. Look how fast he can place blocks. Look at those legs go. Cool, so uh, big shout out and help from Donas, uh, Donas Doda, or Doda, Donas, don't ask, okay? Donas Doda. He designed this red section, I believe. I think it was him. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I had help from lots of people, Sean Morris, loads of people, MLS. Thank you everyone who helped on this build and designed little sections. So, uh, as you can see, I'm just increasing the andesite here to make these little uh, five by five junctions. I should be commentating on what I'm building. Um, but it's kind of obvious what I'm doing here, just making these little platforms, floors, and of course on all those levels, I probably won't uh, get to do it. Um, on all those levels, you should definitely put some flooring as well. Okay, we now need some windows. So one up into the red, we're gonna go for a double window like this. There we are. And then into that can go some glass. I'm also gonna be uh, sorting out here some, some surrounds to the windows. Add a gap of two and then more windows above. There we go. Glazing can be a pain, but it's gotta be done. So here we go with the nether brick, looking mighty fine. 
Uh, you may choose different kind of window designs, a little bit of trim. It is up to you. This is what, um, I think it was Donus who did this, but I'm pretty sure. This is what he came up with. If you don't like this design, you're more than welcome to do your own. You probably should do your own. You know, you'll, you'll come up with something better. We did this very, very quickly. Um, underneath, we're going to go, I think, to some slabs. We're going to go slab there, slab there. So slabs under the stairs and then a separate slab on its own, bottom slab. I think that looks really cool, actually. I do like that bit, to be honest. Some more slabs up top as well. Upper slabs. They look fine as well. One in the corner. And a couple up here as well. You can imagine this has been the kind of the fancier part of the castle. Some nether brick fences in here as well. This would be the fancier part, maybe the living accommodation for maybe the owners of the, the fort. <laughs> um, you'd expect them to have fancier windows, nice balconies. Oh, we're going to come up with four blocks there. Um, the other part of the build kind of integrates into this. So that's why I've added those extra four blocks. Okay, so in line with these windows, we're going to come up one like that. And it's exactly the same as we've been doing around here. Just going to add all this together exactly the same. I think I forget to put the fence posts on here until like one of the very last things I do. You may not even see it on camera, but I've got a bit of a time lapse of detailing at the very end of this video, and that's when I finally remember to put the fence posts. <laughs> I just completely forgot while recording this, but anyway, no matter. Teeny tiny detail. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying this kind of long tutorial. I don't think I'll be doing many more very, very long tutorials. Don't worry, my channel isn't going down the 50-minute tutorial route. I just thought I'd go crazy and do a big, big tutorial and see how it does. Um, but what I want to do is plenty of live streaming on Twitch and putting the highlights onto YouTube and some little smaller tutorials. Okay, grab some more ingredients. Hopefully you saw those ingredients I grabbed here. We've got some... Yeah, this is where I chop off that extra layer. We don't need that extra layer of red terracotta or clay, whatever it is. And we're going to go for... These are key blocks here. A couple of key blocks here and here of upper cobblestone slabs. And then we can start to put on our, our roof. Our roof on the fancy bit of this fort. And it's going to be great fun. Absolutely great fun just furnishing, furnishing this, deciding what the rooms are, planning out the rooms on the inside. So this roof really just almost builds itself. You really want to provide some structure at the back here with some more red blocks. And then just keep on going. Nice cobblestone roof. More red blocks, more cobblestone roof. It's a normal Minecraft roof, just build it up bit by bit. We can switch over to this bit here and see how this is going to work out nicely. You'll have an attic in there as well, which would be nice. You could uh, put spider webs and stuff in there, make it all spooky. You could also get rid of some of that wooden structure. I've got there a fence, and uh, you could make that all roof as well. I don't think I bothered, but you could definitely make that all roof and just integrate the roof into the, the wooden railings I've got going on as well. More roof. It's hard work. Roofing really is one of the hardest jobs, especially in survival. Oh my goodness, honestly. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to build this in survival. You'd be absolutely uh, crazy to do that. But, oh, that's one of the reasons I don't like survival in Minecraft. The roof, making a roof, all that hopping up, building platforms, building scaffolding, hopping up, and then I keep falling off. Oh my word, I just I just can't do it. I can't do it. Some people like it. Some people just, they, they spend ages and ages and ages building and building in survival on roofs up and down towers and it's, it's it is absolutely incredible i find i just don't understand how they can do it i really don't i, I need to, i need to fly <laughs> it's 3d art for me 3d art and i need to be able to fly and be uninhibited jumping up and down oh my goodness
can't be doing with it. I can't be doing with it. Right, there we go. You can add in a window. Maybe a door would actually make more sense, to be honest. I think I put a door in later on. Definitely, we can get a window in this end as well. <clears throat> and again, on the inside, you could put rafters, you could put beams, you could put upside down stairs on the inside. And we're just going to finish it off here with some cobblestone slabs. Progress has been made on one of the fanciest parts of the entire build. Slabs coming across there. Something I've never really done like that before, but I quite like that design. So we're going to continue. And then some other fancy nether brick slabs on top. Just finishes off that look. I think it looks cool. As you can see, I've missed out the, <laughs> the upright fences. That was just so, so bad. Put them in at the end. Yeah, that makes much more sense to have that as a door. And then, of course, don't forget, you've got lots of staircases to add. You've got lots of floorings to add. Right now, it's an absolute hazard. You could put in some dormer windows as well, I think. Okay, so grab some more ingredients, principally bone, coal, trapdoor, some dark oak stairs, and some iron trapdoors. I'm going to just take out these blocks here. I know this design might have been by Donus Doda as well. If not, I can't remember who did this, but could have been Sean. I'll try and remember in the description, or let me know in the comments who built this bit with the coal. I can't remember who designed it, but using the coal looks like almost very black burnt wood. I'm going to bring this up. Don't worry about how many blocks to bring this up. Honestly, we'll work it out as we put the windows in. You can kind of see how far it goes up there. <coughs> Uh, if you are building this, don't... I mean, th this build starting to get really quite complicated here. Um, I would recommend you don't do it block for block, but just do it as close as you possibly can get. Now, I've got the window gap on the right. is bigger than the window gap on the left here, uh, but I'll be fixing that in just a couple of seconds. Right. Going to use bone block. Uh, wool is quite good as well here. But we're going to mark in a little double gap there for windows. Again, you could use iron bars if you're worried about people breaking in <laughs> as well. So this is where I figure out my window is too small. So we're going to just take away some of this andesite here and really integrate this build. You can see, you can see the, almost see the thinking process going on here. <laughs> Duh, it's too narrow. Got to make it wider. There we go. I figured it out. Finally. Finally. We can make some progress. This is the longest voiceover I've ever done. <laughs> I've never spoken for 55 minutes before. <laughs> ah. Oh, this is crazy. This could be the, one of the worst things or one of the best things I've ever done on my channel. <laughs> ah. Anybody waiting through the entire video, well done. Some trap doors to represent some, uh, wooden blinds. And then we're on up to the next floor. The little gap, by the way, on the left-hand side between the sandstone tower and this section we're building, um, I don't fill that gap in on this video until very, till the very last moment on a little bit of a time lapse. Um, so do be prepared for that gap to sit there annoying you. Oh, I'm going to use quite a clever technique here designed, done by the designer of this section. Was it Donas? I can't remember who did this bit, but uh, little levers on the inside will close our trap doors all you got to do is have a nice time trying to disguise these levers on the inside of the build and that isn't too difficult i don't think but once they're all spammed down doesn't it look cool i think it looks really nice on a medieval build something i'd never even thought of and something i should try and integrate into more medieval builds just looks like just adds that little smidgen of detail which we love another window up top here And there we go. So um, <clears throat> the coal, the coal was too high. So that needs to come down a block. I don't think this is exactly the same design as the designer made. I'm just kind of trying to integrate it into my fort. So there's going to be some slight variations, but just put some fancy windows here. You could even change it to dark oak instead of if you don't like the coal. Dark oak, I think would work quite nicely as well. We've got some trap doors to put on here as well. And there we go. Cool. Uh, I think I'm 
At this point here, I'm trying to spit out some ingredients and pick some other ingredients up. I'm going to go for, I think, spruce stairs from memory, spruce slabs maybe, and spruce fences. Hopefully they'll pop into my hand in just a second. There we go. <laughs> yeah, on re I'm filming in replay mod and you can't see the inventory, I'm afraid. Can't even see my hotbar, which is really annoying actually. It'd be beautiful. Maybe I'm doing something wrong in replay mod that I, I can't see the hotbar when I'm in first person mode. Or maybe it's a, a fault of replay. Anyway, a little bit of detail here with some fences, some stairs. You kind of know the drill. Maybe you'll come up with something better yourself. Cool. All right. Nice progress. Little temporary blocks here. Going to add in some gates. That's what else I was picking up. Spruce fence gates. And there we go. That looks cool. The windows are a different height, actually, from the red windows. Just notice that. So that's maybe something that's a bit, a bit off. You got different, but you know, the more uneven this castle is, the kind of the better it looks, I think. Okay, so now we're going to be looking, I think, at either the inside or the roof. Yeah, let's go for roof. So I'm going to bring this along here with some stone brick stairs. This is probably the toughest section to get right of the whole build. I certainly am trying to copy what somebody else had designed and I haven't got it exactly right, but I am not bothered. <laughs> I'm really not bothered. Because I think it just looks good anyway. You don't want it to be block perfect. And if you're copying along, you, you'll not manage to get this block perfect. But uh, making your fort individual, that's where the, the enjoyment is. I don't want to take that away by making too prescriptive. A tutorial. So there we go, got a, a stone brick stair outline to the roof and then we're going to finish it off with some nice dark oak and this can go all the way along. Keep it going all the way over to the red. And we can just add in a little bit more wall here. This is an interior wall, so you could change that to a different color if you wanted. But certainly, if it's visible from the outside, you try and make it as uh, red so it looks all continuous. Like these blocks are going to change into, into the red block. So there we go. I love the way the roofs just interact like that in different heights of almost like a townhouse you're building there. A couple of townhouses. Make some structure. Again, I'm just going to use the 5x5 five five system. Oops, fallen down there. Um, this one is going to have to be integrated on that lever. If you don't like that lever there, you could take it out and just change the trapdoor on the other side or disguise it, something like that. But you've got some little disguise problems to do. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing to have. You've got um, flooring. You could do that for a little bench along there and that would disguise it. And then underneath, you've got to just disguise it with some... I don't know, some beams, make it up. That's the great thing about Minecraft. You can just make it up as you go along. So add in some floors, some beams, some rooms. I realize I've got two kind of five by five systems here, which are interacting in different places, but overall, I quite like this design. Right, we want to carry on here. And just integrate our next roof as well. So we're going to try and get this in the right place. I think there is about right. Cool. Looking mighty fine. One more block. And that's not, nah, that's wrong, that's wrong. That's got to be dark oak. We can do the frame here at the front. Loads of nooks and crannies, loads of attics, loads of separate rooms, bedrooms, kitchens. Oh, where else would you get in a fort? Maybe a, a jail, <laughs> pantries, barracks, loads and loads of really exciting places, nooks and crannies to build and design. Okay, so here we go with more roof. Again, bring it right up to the red. Maybe this tutorial is turning out to be completely impossible to follow, but hopefully the overall structure 
of the fort will give you, I don't know, I think give you kind of a head start into fort design. And that modular structure at the front, you might only copy that bit and kind of just go your own way with the rest of the fort. And that is, that is the beauty of Minecraft. Everyone does it differently. So there we go. It's a really nice, almost townhousey design. And again, just going to use bone block here. I think this is going to be where a door would be. This would maybe be where a window would be. I would probably make that the officer's quarters. There could be some problems with floor height. I've just realized as looking back at this, there could definitely be some problems with floor height, but hey, over to you to solve that for yourself. It's gonna increase the wall length right there. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it uh, pretty much like that. Just giving everything a once over and a check. But the overall lesson here really is to integrate integrate lots and lots of different styles. I think that's really, really important. The more kind of styles you have, um, just the more interesting your whole design looks. Definitely something weird about this backside here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out some problems here. Just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. But the inside of the castle, not as important to me as the outside. It's a fort! It's a fort! If I call it a castle one more time, oh my goodness. So I'm kind of laboring these details here. I don't think it's too important. I haven't even put some glass in. I guess that glass will be put in later on. Have I just noticed that? <laughs> There's no glass in the windows, Andy. Uh, yeah. Right now, yes, there we go. There we go, some glass, finally. And some fence posts, woo. There we are, cool, okay. Enough spent on this section, I think, that is for sure. We don't wanna just um, keep doing a tiny, tiny detailed bit. I don't know, the last 10% of a build sometimes can take 90% of the time though. We definitely need some uh, bone block in here just to seal the deal. Couple of extra bits of coal there. <clears throat> it's really interesting using coal. I never used that really before in a medieval build, but it just looks like really old, beaten, weathered <clears throat> beams. I love it. Okay, so we need some more ingredients. We've got some <clears throat> a full complement of sandstone, some logs, bone, a nice door as well, and I'm gonna add in just a couple of buildings. Again, this is where you might do something different to me. I'm just gonna go for a little five by five building. So four up on the logs. Can go quite quickly here. This could be a little barracks. Could be a workshop. Could be a weapon storeroom, something like that. But it's the classic little five by five village house times two is what I've been doing. Oakwood stairs. <clears throat> there we go, that works out really nicely. Um, it's a cute little, I think it would definitely be a nice little weapon store, I think. Where you could grab your bows and arrows if you had to defend your fort. So hopefully that wasn't too fast. I've been doing these little 5x5 five five houses on my channel for months and months, probably years now. So that's why I've gone pretty fast on that little section there. Bone block for the walls. Wool is good. Quartz, not so good. Um, white concrete, I would say works quite well. You're representing kind of wattle and daub. I've got some walls to finish off there, but I'm gonna finish them off later on. We're gonna skip over to the next little section, which is gonna be Sandstone, so chisel stands, sandstone, excuse me, in the corners, windy pops, and some normal standstone, stand, standstone, <laughs> stony to stand on, stand, get off my standstone. Um, chiseled sandstone in the corners in the middle, and in three blocks, as you can see, three blocks of normal sandstone right there at the ends, and you can mark in some doors, you can mark in some windows, 
just exactly the same as what we've been doing, but it kind of fits really nicely into the build and you've got space to walk around the whole thing and kind of squeeze past. I kind of like that. So going for a roof this time, going for dark oak. The dark oak actually looks really nice um, against the nice kind of creamy white sandstone blocks. I think it looks really cool. So over here at this end, we've got um, a spot where we can, um, I'm just going to add in a little bit of cliff here. And I guess I'll finish off that sandstone house later on in the speeded up part of the video because it's just a roof and sandstone walls and windows and doors really you don't need to see that but um be creative with your cliff work here it's going to look like the castle or the fort is integrated and sitting on and built on a rock so that's the idea of this fort it's built on a rock so you want to really integrate the rock through the walls into the walls and sit everything and make it look like it's on really firm foundations So we are continuing. All right, so what we're going to do right here, so we've got some kind of, um, hmm, got some tough little bits to add in here. Got some choices as to what you do. I'm going to just go for some polished andesite, going to make things up as I go along, putting some nice narrow windows and just take these stone brick stairs and make them into a little window into which we could stick some iron bars or some glass, whatever you feel like. And just increase my cliff height here and just keep on adding detail. So when you're building this fort, don't don't be afraid of it looking kind of just plain and ordinary to start with. Because when you start adding doors and windows and bushes and flags, honestly, when you add flags to this towers, these towers, uh, the place just comes alive. It looks like someone's actually living there and it really adds that detail which, I don't know, just, <clears throat> it just, that's all I can think of to say. It brings it to life. So I'm going to add on a little, uh, a few more blocks of wood here, but pretty much leave that to be finished off by the time lapse. It integrates really nicely here, I think. Look at how beautiful that just integrates into the build. I must remember that. It sits nicely between those little 3x3 three three towers. I like that an awful lot. Okay, so we need some stone brick slabs and glowstone, some stairs, some wall, a chiseled blocks, and some full blocks here of stone brick. Gonna come out three here, and then up by two, and that's gonna start us um, kind of having a counting, a counting system here. Um, I think I might put those back. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna make two three by three towers. Two three by three towers. So that's the back block, and there we go. There it is, three by three, thirteen blocks down from those two I placed at the top. The corner I'm gonna make chiseled stone brick in that corner and that corner. The corner we can't see at the very back doesn't matter too much. You could make it stone brick if you wish. Uh, in between here, I'm going to put some little um, slabs, a full block, two full blocks, two full blocks of stone, glowstone times three in the middle. So this is a Sean Morris uh, design, these little three by three towers. Couple more slabs there and there. And then we're on up to the next level. More uh, chiseled blocks, this time in the middle. Some walls there and there. We're gonna need to add some more chisel blocks uh, in the other middle so that we make those walls join on. Looks mighty fine from the back here, or from the front, I should say. We could take out those blocks and we're gonna bring these walls up, but we're going to bring them up by two blocks onto the chiseled. Bring up your glowstone in the middle. If you can't follow this, just make your own little 3x3 three three fancy entrance. It's a fancy entrance. Chiseled on top of the walls. 
And then more walls on the little in-betweens. It's a nice design, this, actually. So we're not far from it being finished. Stone brick there, there, and there in the corners. And then we've got upside down stairs. Again, I don't think this was absolutely block for block Sean's design, but it's close enough, close enough. Doing it from memory, quite difficult sometimes. So I'm just gonna build this up until we get to this level. And this is where people can walk across and start to do some defending of the entrance. You wanna make a little kind of a, a fort area there where you could walk in and just fire arrows or throw things down. It looked quite plain at the top, so I'm gonna add in another upside down, or sorry, correct the way up this time, stair. Cool, so there we go. We're gonna need a couple of them. So there's another one on the other side, leaving a little three wide gap, and that's gonna be the entrance. You're gonna to need to add some more stone, some more cliff, some more bushes here as well. And this is gonna be the entrance. So I'm just gonna speed this up here. I would expect you to make a better job of this bridge. I'm gonna make mine very, very plain indeed. You could make yours much fancier. And then bring some, some stairs, some simple, Stairs, I love the way that these slabs look, these stone brick slabs. Don't forget the walls at the side and then hack your way through so you can walk up and into your fort. And how fancy you make that staircase is up to you. You could definitely have some really nice fancy blocks on the inside walls there. Okay, uh, just adding in a few more blocks here and there just to uh, close up the gaps between the towers. And I can add in some more fortifications at the top. Okay, we're gonna move on to some more detailing here. We're gonna grab some andesite, some brick stairs, some uh, chisel blocks, and I think I had some stone slabs as well. Okay, so this top tower here, we need to um, we need to improve it. It's looking very plain at the top, so we're gonna add some crenellations, some merlons and crenelles at the top of this tower. So polish andesite right there, two blocks off, two blocks, two blocks. Upside down stairs in between. And then andesite on top of the upside down stairs. And then we've got our chiseled stone brick in between. And then we can use our double stone slabs as the the crenelles. I think the merlons are the space, right? Or the merlons, the, oh, I can't remember. Either the spaces are merlons or the uprights are merlons. I can't remember. <gasps> oh my goodness. Same exact thing on the other side. That's all fine. Now it's uh, stone brick upside down us at the bottom there as well. Hopefully I did that on the other side. And then me slabs. What a marathon. What a marathon this build is. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more 50 minute <laughs> tutorials. This took like a week and a half to make. <laughs> it's crazy. doesn't make sense to do it on a, on a YouTube channel, but I don't know. I've always done weird massive projects on my channel. Uh, maybe I should have split this up into a multi-parter. <laughs> that would have been more sensible, right? Um, so, designing the backside of this tower here, we've got alternate andesite and chiseled stone bricks all the way along the top, and that should kind of integrate nicely into the corners there, where I've got some stone, double stone slabs, as you can see. Double stone slabs on top of the chiseled stone bricks. And they're gonna use some polished andesite underneath. But first of all, we're gonna go for upside down stairs under the andesite. And then with this polished andesite, we're gonna go single block, 
double block, single, double, single, double, and then stairs under the, the doubles. Cool, huh? I like that little design. And of course you would put some doors in from the walkway to get across to this tower. Okay, so this section here, not the easiest to get right. We're gonna have to have a good look at this. Um, so we're gonna take away that and just put some nice polished andesite all the way around like that. That's a good start. And then we're looking at chisel block there, there, and there. And these we're gonna make into the defensive uprights there, 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 and there. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes not easy to count the blocks. More andesite underneath. And this is pretty much the whole thing done. We're really virtually finished the marathon. Add in a floor, and in fact, add in loads of floors. You've got loads of detail you can add in and some big windows as well. I'm gonna get the gang to help me finish off the build. A couple more fortifications at the front and you are a done deal with your fort. Well done if you managed it. I got my friends and we added some detail. Thanks for watching everyone. Enjoy the detailing section. If you did watch this the whole way through, let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm off to Los Angeles for a week. I'll try and vlog and upload some vlogs. And when I come back, I wanna do loads of Twitch live streams where we're building modern houses or medieval and you guys can help me and make suggestions and even build with me as well. That's us guys. Thanks for all the helpers and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Enjoy the speed it up time lapse. Bye bye. May the books be with you. Hey, a cup of tea. Wow.